Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to be looking at your profile and how you can edit your profile. So I'm going to click on under, I'm going to make sure I have the right account selected if you have multiple and you're going to go to your profile. And under profile, you can see that there's a lot of information. You have your courses listed here. Um, to edit your profile, you want to click on this edit button right here. And you can write a short bio. Um, for right now, I'm just going to write, I am a uh, junior at Uplift North Hills Preparatory. Preparatory. I love learning about uh, science, technology, engineering, and math. And let's just leave it at that for now. Birthday. Um, I'm going to put my birthday in here. Um, and if you don't want to share your birthday with everyone else, that's fine. You can hide it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put mine in here. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to click Save Changes. So I have my bio and birthday done. You can also go to Interest and Activities. So activities, I can talk about JWAC. Uh, we have, these are just clubs that I'm involved in in high school. Um, if you're involved in clubs, you can put those in here. Uh, you don't have to, and these are all optional, but this is just to customize your experience on Schoology, um, which is French club. What else do I have? Um, I can talk about um, uh, class of 2022, class president. And I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Interest, like I said, science, technology, engineering, math. Um, I'm interested in music. Um, and I'm interested in literature. Um, there's a lot of other things, but you can just list a few of them. Uh, save changes. And then contact information. You can edit your email, but we're going to actually go into settings to do that in a bit. You can add your phone number here. Um, and I'm going to add my phone number in here. And if you have a website, you can add your websites in here as well. Um, I have a LinkedIn profile. I could add that in here. I have a, a personal website that I programmed. I could add that in here later, but uh, I don't have the link right in front of me, so I'm not going to add that in yet. Um, but for now, I'm going to hit Save Changes. And that, there you go. Your profile should be customized now. So now if we go back to uh, your profile, and look at that, everything's been updated. So I can also add a photo. So I'm going to click on Add Your Photo. Um, I actually have a, so the first thing, sorry, I should have mentioned this first is you can actually um, use one of their avatars that they have, or you can attach your own file. I'm going to attach my own file. I have a picture here that I'm going to use. And let's see, it's uploading. Sorry, bear with me. There we go. There we go. So now my profile picture has been updated. Awesome. Um, we can go to the blog. Um, you can actually create a personal blog here if you wanted to. Um, I don't know how useful that would be, but you can definitely do that. You can also uh, remember that we talked about a little bit about portfolios. Basically, you can store your assignments into different portfolios. And um, say you have a portfolio for, um, let's call this portfolio my best projects. And say I've been working on projects. Um, as you saw before in the assignments video, you can add assignments and you can add certain submissions to your portfolios. So you can do that. Um, and you can play around with this on your own time and figure that out. But um, I'm not sure how useful the portfolio section would want it once again be, but you're welcome to play around with it, see what you can do with it. Now, um, we're in addition to looking at into the profile, which we just did, we're also going to look into your account settings because um, that would be useful. So your first name and your last name are already set. Uh, you can add a preferred first name in here if you wanted to. Um, I go by MG, but um, I'm still going to, I still prefer to be called Mergayu, so that's fine. Um, your primary email um, can go in here. You can also put in an alternate email. So you can, if you have a personal email, you can put that in. And then you want to click Save Changes. And make sure you set your time zone to Central Time because, and Central Time is Chicago, so make sure you set that in. You can change your password here. The other thing is, remember how we exported our calendar? Um, you can also use, go into settings, um, or the default format is disabled, 
but you can actually enable that. And once you've enabled it, the iCal link will pop up. And remember how we synced it with our Google Calendar? You can do that here. If you're unsure about what I'm talking about, I would go back to the calendar video and rewatch that. Um, you can also link accounts as I've done here. Um, and you can also merge accounts. So I'm hesitant to do this so far because I'm waiting for the school year to start. But it, say like me, you have an old account and you have the, your Uplift uh, account for this year. What you can do is once you're logged into your Uplift account for this year, you can click on merge accounts and then log into your old account and it'll basically transfer all your previous uh, courses and groups to your new account. So I'm not gonna do that just yet, um, but um, I will do that um, later. And then you can set your homepage to your, either your recent activity or the course dashboard, whatever your preference is. And make sure to hit save changes. All right, so we've talked about notifications. Now going to privacy settings, right now you can see like your profile and your updates and all this. Your organization is Uplift Education. So anyone in Uplift can see all of this. If you wanna change that so that um, only your school, the people from your school can see these kinds of things, um, then you can change it to school only. And if you only want, like for, for, for example, say your blog is very personal and you don't want anyone else to see it, you can hit no one and you can hit save changes. For messaging, I'd make sure to at least do school. That way you can still uh, communicate with your peers and your teachers. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it as it was before. Um, let me just go back and fix that real quick and save changes. And there you go. So that's that's your um, that's your video on your profile settings as well as your account settings and privacy settings.